you are now behind enemy lines. Face to face with Taliban forces. Dodging rocket fire, tank shells, landmines, and bullets. And looking for a deadly needle by the name of Osama bin Laden in the treacherous and forbidding haystack known as Afghanistan. Just like American special forces have reportedly been doing for weeks. I doubt very much we're going to find bin Laden unless he wants to find us. And Robert Pelton doesn't like our chances if the U.S. invaded Afghanistan either. It's the last place in the world you want to fight a war. And it was a 500-pound bomb. Pelton knows what he's talking about because this real-life Indiana Jones has entered Afghanistan covertly four times in the course of his work as an author and documentary filmmaker. The secret to dealing with criminals is to think like them, to be with them, and to keep tabs on them so when something does happen, boom, we're there. That's something our own CIA and FBI are forbidden to do under federal law, but Pelton hasn't hesitated to use bribery or any other means necessary to get into Afghanistan and capture footage like this for the Travel Channel and the Discovery Network. Pelton's gotten up close and personal with the most powerful men in that war-torn country, including Northern Alliance leader Ahmed Shah Massoud, who was assassinated by the Taliban just days before the terrorist attacks on America. The globe-trotting journalist based in California says he also knows that U.S. forces will have a tough time locating bin Laden in Afghanistan. Bin Laden can not only hide in a number of uh, remote areas, he can also hide amongst the people. He can go into the tribal areas which border Afghanistan and Pakistan. He could be in a crowd of people and nobody would even know he's there. He could be in a house. They, they live in huge walled fortresses with 20-foot high walls and steel gates. Uh, there's no way you'd find out if he was in this house or that house or anywhere. Pelton says all of America's sophisticated weaponry and technology is virtually useless against this dreaded terrorist. The problem is they use things like electronic surveillance. If you're living in a cave in Afghanistan using people that take minibuses to send messages, you're off the radar. Even if we did locate bin Laden, Pelton says it would be almost impossible to capture him in Afghanistan's rugged terrain. It's been where armies have been defeated simply because it's so difficult to get across. There's so few sort of crossing points, and it's so easy to ambush convoys. It's so easy to shoot down aircraft. But Pelton admits he doesn't really know how to catch bin Laden either. What he will do will basically not take over the United States, not destroy the entire country, but show us on a regular basis that we are vulnerable. Which is terrifying to most people. It should be, because we don't have a defense against it. You can see much more of Robert Pelton's footage from inside Afghanistan October 14th on the Travel Channel. That's when the world's most dangerous places airs.